Tuesday, December 19, and as you can see, I have tons of food in front of me because today is mukbang day! Yeah, so today we're having a typical Filipino breakfast. So Filipino breakfast, it's very broad. Um, we don't have an exclusive breakfast food like most of this food in front of me. We can eat this for breakfast, for lunch, or dinner, but for the most part, most of the Filipino eat this set of food. And we love this for breakfast. So, it's a lot of food. So I'm really excited because I haven't had this breakfast for a long time since I got here. As you know, I cook all of this. Okay, I cook all of this. And so that you know, a little trivia. Filipino food is high in carbs, high in fat, high in salt. We love dessert, so we love sugar. So this food is high in carbs with the rice and bread, and high in fat and salt because these are all fried. In the Philippines, you can find a lot of dried seafood like this too. These are, these are uh, dried herring and we call this tuyo tuyo in the philippines and these are dried anchovies or dilis in the philippines so in the philippines we have tons of dried seafood like sky's the limit and also cured food are also popular in the philippines like this one this is cured sausage and we call this longanis in the philippines and in the philippines almost all region have their own version of this sausage of this longanisa and this is hot dog and in the Philippines our hot dogs are red and uh, and the reason behind that red color is because red is appetizing and I don't know why they don't have red hot dogs here in the US but we also have a brown hot dog in the Philippines but red is popular like I grew up eating red hot dog and I can only find red hot dog here in the Asian store and I don't have it right now so gonna live with it. Egg is a very popular breakfast food and condiments I have this uh, vinegar with real garlic. Use real garlic not the bottled garlic because real garlic is the best. And here is the mix of tomatoes and onion with a little fish sauce in it. So any of these condiments you can use it on both dishes. So a typical Filipino breakfast always starts with bread. So we have the pandesal and pandesal is like dinner rolls in the US. I don't have, I don't have the real pandesal but I have a dinner roll so it's kind of similar to this. It's kind of look, it kind of look like this. Very similar but it's like uh, you know Filipino recipe with a Filipino touch kind of um, dinner roll. So typical Filipino have just bread and coffee in the morning like I have a coffee here as you can see I have a coffee and I love I love black coffee so it's very simple we get a hot fresh pandesal in the morning and then we dip it in the coffee like sao 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 how you call it deep is sao sao filming so we just sao sao or pandesal and eat it mmm we have that uh, you, can, you can make hot chocolate or put milk and if you don't want just plain you can always get a butter or margarine ah! and then spread it inside the pandesal or dinner rolls and trust me it's delicious uh, people say that oh Filipino they're, they are very thin they are reaching their bread in hot coffee which is you know it's not the reason behind that we just like to dip our bread in our hot coffee 
good. Trust me, it's good. You up eating pan out and having just pan out and, and coffee in the morning. And that's one thing I miss here in the U.S. Because I can't find pan out. And my fried rice, um, what I usually do and most Filipinos do is uh, they cook their... I cook my uh, fried rice in the same pan where I cook my longanisa. And the reason behind that is because it first it adds color. Like you can see it's, it's kind of uh, light brown or tan and I didn't put any like soy sauce or what to it but uh, the juice that comes out from the sausage and the flavor and with the garlic and a little salt and pepper fried rice more tasty and it adds flavor and that's why I do it and that's how I do it today so yeah it's really getting cold so let's start I'm really excited Whew. oh I need ketchup on my egg I always well, I always eat my egg with ketchup Banana ketchup is more popular than tomato ketchup because banana ketchup has a sweet and sour taste to it and like tomato ketchup it's mainly just you know sour but I don't have banana ketchup so so let's try it Itadakimasu! Let's eat it! Hmm I want to start with this because I miss having this I haven't had this for a long time Every region in the Philippines have their own longanisa or cured sausage. Some of them are garlicky, some of them are are sweet and salty, some of them are like sour and vinegary. So it depends. I don't know how this one tastes. So let's try it. Mm. This one is not that salty. A little sweet, not too salty, just the right amount of salt which I like. And it's gonna be more different if you dip it in vinegar with the garlic. Huh. Now if you're wondering why I have no spoon and fork, because in the Philippines we eat with our hands. Well, we use spoon and fork, but... But this is like, you know traditional way to eat um, this kind of food during breakfast and I grew up using my hand um, eating food but don't get me wrong I use spoon and fork but I just feel like I can eat more when I use my hands and the food tastes better when I use my hands so you kind of like swoop the rice like this just in the, just in the mouth. Mm. Mm. I like this better with vinegar. It completes that salty, soury, and sweet taste. Which I like. And then dried and chove your dillies. You just fry it like uh, until it gets cr it gets crispy and oh, golden brown. Like this one is very, it's very like this one is very crispy. Mm. You get a couple, and then you get that tomato and onion. Mm. So like I said, in Philippines we have tons of choices when it comes to breakfast. We have the long silog, it's longanisa, it's sinanga kinitlog, it's cured sausage, fried rice and egg. We have tossy silog, the sino sinanga and 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 it log. We have ham silog, we have corn silog, different kinds. And we have grotto, we have our scaldo, we have we have champurado, like 
you can't go to the Philippines and complain about oh, I can't eat anything in the Philippines because we, because we have variety. Dried herring is one of my favorite. Oh, God. So like I said, Filipino breakfast is high in salt. It's high in salt. It's high in fat. So it's not the healthiest food in the world, but you love it. As long as you don't eat this every day, okay? I mean, everything in moderation is, it, it's okay. You know, just don't overdo it. Oh, God. Mm. <laughs> Actually, since these are all fried and dry, we usually make, um, um, like instant noodles as a soup or the coffee but but usually I make um, instant noodles hmm. and with this dry seafood you know you don't you don't get like uh, a big piece of meat because a little go this goes a long way hmm. let's try it with the vinegar I so miss this food. I really do. And coffee is it's just perfect. Ah! I don't want that much ketchup. Just brush it off the side. That. I think I cook it perfectly. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So also in the Philippines, we make weird omelette. Like I like omelette with tomatoes, onion, and garlic in it. And then I do this one kind of omelette where I. Uh, use potatoes like I cut them in cube like this tiny like the one they use for like making hash and then I I will fry it first until like uh, light brown and then I mix it with the raw egg and then uh, cook it in the pan like in slow fire and it kind of feel like you're eating um, how can I say it? like um, French fries with that in rice. So potatoes is carbs and then you eat it with rice, it's carbs. You don't have to eat with your hands if you can. If you don't feel comfortable. You can always use a spoon and fork, but this is just how I want to eat my food. Mm. Wow. Let's try the American hot dog. Also, our hot dog tastes different from American hot dog. That's what I noticed. It has a distinct flavor that I uh, don't find in American hot dog like this. It's just different. I don't know. I'm sure it is. It's. I'm sure it was designed for Filipino palate.
I wish I was a big eater so I can eat all of this. But I'm such a small eater that no matter how um, hungry I am, I always end up eating them small. But sometimes I sometimes I I eat more than I usually do, but for the most part I'm not. Yeah, you just gotta be careful with all those small um, fish bones because if you're not get used to it, it's gonna get stuck in your um, throat and it's not the best feeling if that happens. So you have to make sure that you remove all the tiniest bones in the meat. Uh, but sometimes if you fry them too crispy, those small bones, uh, they also get crispy. And then you can just eat them. Ooh. I think I can finish my rice. I have a feeling. We'll see. Hmm. So this video is already running for... 21 minutes. Wow. Because I'm talking a lot. Because I just don't want to bore you guys watching me eating and not saying anything. But in real life, I don't talk too much when I, when I, when I eat. Wow. Raw garlic is it's delicious. It looks burned, but it's okay. That's how we cook it. Mm. This right here is too salty. So whenever I feel like I'm getting too much salt, I I eat this because this is not that salty so it balances the saltiness in my tongue or eat more fresh tomatoes. Mm. I wish I have someone with me who can join and eat all of this food because I'm not gonna finish all of this. This gotta be my lunch and my dinner. For sure. So how you so how you like your eggs cooked, guys? Do you want it medium cooked or well done? I like my egg yolk a little, uh, like medium raw, not too runny. So, so it's six days to go before Christmas. I'm thinking, what if I make all this food as our no, Christmas dinner food? I'm adventurous when it comes to food. I am open to tasting and trying new food. So, you know, who knows? Because I'm sure there's a lot of food out there that I haven't seen or try or 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 tasted i'm only limited to what food i know and familiar to and yeah so this video is already like 26 minutes and that's long already so 
that's the end of my video guys so yeah I'm already full and I will try to finish this but if not this is gonna be my lunch and my dinner for the day uh, oh god that's the best feeling <clears throat> let me know if what food you want me to eat next or try and let me know what you think of Filipino breakfast or Filipino food in general or if you haven't tried Filipino food yet or you try it and you hate it or you love it let me know in the comment down below but that's all for today and thanks for having breakfast with me and watching this video and if you like this video please give this a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to my video if you haven't subscribed yet and and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Oh, that means I will close the video. Ah, boom!